Let's install this surveillance camera here on this light fixture that I've got on the balcony and then connect it to the Home Up Pro, which is this NVR that can control up to 24 Wi-Fi cameras. We can add more as needed, but this here is completely optional. So let's start. The camera that we are installing today is this Reolink E1 Outdoor CX. This is a waterproof 2K resolution camera with pan and tilt, auto tracking and night vision in color instead of the usual infrared. Let's move on to the installation and we'll talk about it in just a few moments. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official oim keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper now first i've prepared the power adapter as you know i don't use the ones that come with these devices any brand it doesn't matter i don't use they are bulky plug-in adapters which they don't fit inside the junction boxes. We've made some videos here about these adapters, which cost roughly three years that I'm using. I will leave some links down below. First of all, we need to connect the DC side, which is the red and black wires using a DC adapter. And then we just need to prep the AC side, which are the two yellow wires that we will connect later to the live and neutral wires from our ohm light fixture now, as you can see i already have a junction box here when i did install my first surveillance system back in 2017 to keep the light switch always on to power the camera i used motion sensor lights that only activate when someone passes by and whether you already have a junction box or you need to install one let's first of all turn off the circuit breaker that controls the light fixture so that we can work safely now i did start by removing the old system System installed back in 2017 it worked fine but it was time for an upgrade i opened the junction box and removed the old power adapter one of my worst installations back then it did serve its purpose it worked great from 2017 until today 2025 so eight years more or less i'm not proud of that installation but the truth is that i didn't know more and today i'm doing things a lot differently and probably in 10 years i will say well that was 10 years ago today we are doing things differently but this is the fun of evolving and learning every day now after removing the old camera i mounted the Reolink e1 outdoor luckily the screw holes matched the old camera so it was just a matter of screwing it in though it's sitting very close to the junction box so it might be a tight fit we will see in just a few moments now next i connected the prepped power adapter to the live and neutral wires it's the brown and blue wires that we can see after that organized the cables inside the box and connected the adapter to the camera i closed the box and ran into an issue as you can see the camera is too close to the junction box so it's limiting its rotation it's not a huge deal for this location but it's not 100 percent ideal and for now i'm going to leave it as it is but probably i'm going to change it with the lumus pro in the near future so stay tuned because i will share all the modifications with you as well now once we have the camera installed we just need to open the app and add the camera it will take about two minutes we have done this many times before so you know the drill we just need to add the camera either directly to our wi-fi and then insert a memory card for local recordings or as an option too for home hub pro users add it to the nvr now the app will scan our network for any camera and then it will find and it will link them to the app. what i did was the two processes first of all i did install like any other standalone camera to my wi-fi network and and then after that, I did decide to add to the NVR. So this is the beauty of this system, which will allow us to purchase one camera, to purchase any other camera when we need. And then later on down the road, I can just grab the NVR and it will centralize all my cameras. And that is great because once added, the Home Hub Pro will save all the footages. It will be saved here on the NVR's hard drive. And we can view those footages not only on our phone or a tablet, 
but we can also connect a display or a TV to the Home Hub Pro and see it right over there. Now this system is super flexible. We can add cameras to the Hub whenever we want without investing in upfront in a system that I'm not really sure if I'm going to need that many cameras. And that's the main reason that this system is replacing my main system for surveillance. It will allow me to build gradually and I don't need to decide right now if I need five cameras or eight cameras or whatever. Or even if I want the NVR, I can just grab this camera, which is the one that I need right now. And then in two, three months, I will decide if I need this one. And then in another three or four months, I will decide if I want an NVR. Now, looking at the app, it's really simple. We have seen it here many times. Playback is organized into one hour clips with motion and person detection markers so we can skip straight to the events we also have privacy zones we can block areas like a neighbor's house or anything else by masking them in black and it will not record that area we can customize settings for sounds wi-fi led lights alarms auto tracking notifications and a lot more the e1 outdoor cx records in 2k so we can check here on the screen day and night quality in terms of image which is quite impressive now i've seen the images on my phone which is great if we are looking at the screen 4k this is 2k recording so it will be stretched and we will lose a bit of quality but the color night vision is one of the interesting features on this camera so even with no light or low light, it looks fantastic, especially on a phone. So if you are interested in follow up this setup, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Now, the beauty of this is that you don't need to follow my own setup. The flexibility is huge. You don't need this camera. Reolink has more than 50 different cameras starting on the 40 US dollars, 40 euros for different purposes and your needs are different from mine. Now, here on my channel, I will be sharing with you the growth of my system, having the NVR as the centralized solution where I can have this camera on the far hand of my house on an access point. And then I can have this one here on the other hand of the house, probably on a different Wi-Fi network with a different name. As long as that Wi-Fi network is connected to this Wi-Fi network, the NVR will find them both. And I don't need to worry about the Wi-Fi coverage of any NVR. And that's awesome. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, so don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.